So here's the basic shape. And uh, I've been making lures for a while now. I've been doing some other hobbies. But I have an idea for the tail here and I think it'll end up really cool. So we'll give it a shot. And for this swim bait, I'm also gonna be trying to make some new joints that I've never done before. So it should be a good challenge. Now for the tail end, I have these little tiny split rings here that I, uh, I'm going to screw into the back and then I'm going to use the Lexapol polycarbonate to cut out a tail like I normally do, but then use some split rings to thread it through these eyelets and also through a hole that I drill in the Lexan, so that way the tail will be able to have a flapping action. I've got some baking soda and super glue to add to uh, cover up these lead holes. But uh, yeah, that's all we have to do there. And then we can work on the slots for the joints. Now all I'm gonna do is mark out here where I'm gonna have to make my slots. So right there where those loops come out, I'm gonna mark with the marker right there and then make those slots. All right, so this is the start to the joints there. I did cut my finger there. That's why I got wrapped in tissue. But anyway, here is what the start to the joints look like. All I did was cut some slots here and then also drill a hole straight through. So that way these uh, little eyelets here can be threaded through with a pin that I'll slide through eventually. So it's looking pretty good. I just gotta deepen those slots and then we should be ready to go. So for the pin to finish the joint for this lure, I'm going to be using this uh, binder clip piece here. So just a binder clip like this. I'm just going to take off, pinch off this uh, metal part here, and then saw off the pin parts that I need from it. And that will just slide right in there through the hole and through the pins and eyelets that we put in there. So that way the joint can kind of waddle freely. And that will never come undone because that metal won't be able to 
undo itself. So it's a really flawless joint. As long as I have a good connection there, it should work out really good. So we start off with a base coat of white and then I just add some pearlized gold to the top there. The next color is going to be some Wicked Metallic Fastback Green. Really cool looking color. It's kind of a color shift between uh, goldish green to blue. So it's a really cool looking color. And basically we're just going to add these different layers of color on the base coat of this lure. And then we're going to add probably a pretty heavy layer of scales just to kind of cover up those colors and make it appear a little more natural. Now I'm going to do some scales here with this mesh I have. This is just a piece from an uh, old aquarium net that I use. I use this one a lot. I like it uh, quite a bit. So we're going to be using this. Uh, I think I'm going to start with some silver here. Um, some metallic silver. And just kind of go throughout the whole thing. Kind of mute down these colors because it is pretty unnatural at the moment. But then after that I think I'm going to go with some black along the lateral line. With maybe, maybe the same scale pattern. Maybe a different one. But uh, I think that will help mute it as well. But hopefully it ended up pretty cool. I'm actually going to go with a different mesh because I think that one is getting a little too hard and I can't really fold it around the lure very well. So we're going to try this one. So we got all the scales done. Looks pretty good, but all the colors are still really kind of popping too much. So I'm going to go along the lateral line with some black. So hopefully that mutes it. And then I'm also going to add some black to the top of it. So this is what it's looking like. I'm really happy with it. I thought it would look way less natural than it actually does. It actually does resemble a bait fish pretty well, I think. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I'll give you guys a better look in a second here, but we're going to drop in the tank and see what happens. All right, so it drops tail heavy a lot there. I do have some big split rings on the back there with the tail. So if I add some smaller rings, I think that'll work out much better. I also added a treble hook, a bigger size to the front, so that helps a lot. It has a pretty slow sink, which is really good. And it also kind of bobs on the bottom, so I like that. And also, as you retrieve it from the front, it should also balance out a little more, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's good. I just kind of guessed for this one where the weight should go. Normally, if you're new to the channel, I do a hot glue gun method where I uh, test out where the lead should go. But for this one, I just kind of I went for it and put lead where I thought it would be best. So obviously, I should put a little more in the front end, but overall, it's not too bad. So I'm pretty happy with it. Also, for today's lure, we used a pin hinge. That's what a lot of people like to call it. Normally, like in the past, uh, I've made these joints like this. Um, you just have these two different connections there, and they kind of interlocked with the lure just like that, and then they can't separate, and they go all the way throughout the lure here. And I have four of them on this three-piece, and then two of them on this uh, two-piece swim bait here, and uh, also four of them on this perch here as well. 
But with this one, it is really cool. I've never actually made one of these before, so it was fun to experiment with it. Um, this allows you to be able to add these split rings and then also the pin in the middle, like you guys saw. And then I can kind of drill in wherever, knowing that I don't have a huge connection going all the way throughout the lure. So that was really cool, and I definitely want to experiment with this kind of joint much more. Uh, I have another plan for a lure that I'm going to make in the future, so that should end up looking pretty cool, and hopefully get some nice swim baits at the end of it. So here's what it's looking like. I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, definitely a pretty cool looking bait fish pattern that it ended up being. I wasn't going for, for a specific pattern. I think it kind of looks like a rainbow trout, but that wasn't really on purpose. So I was just kind of adding colors and seeing where it went, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty cool. And as you guys know, when it gets to the wintertime, I don't do much fishing. So this one we're going to save, put in our tackle box, and wait till the summertime to use. So over the wintertime, we're just going to be making a bunch of lures. And then over the summertime, I plan on doing a, a video where we'll test out all these lures and hopefully catch some fish with them. So that is what this one's looking like. It was a ton of fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.